Hey everyone, now this video will be a complete tutorial to free up space on your C drive. It's really a very common problem that C drive gets full in a very short time and you're unable to install or unable to save files because of lack of storage. Here in the search icon, type storage and the best match will be storage settings. And this will work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. So here I can see 14 GB of apps and features, documents, and temporary files is only 370 MB. So from here, if you see temporary files, you can uh, you can select that, and from here you can select which all files you want to delete. I would recommend to go to apps and features first, because apps and features, documents, and temporary files, these are the three main reason where your C drive got full. So here we will go to apps and features and once you click on that, you will get a whole list of applications which is installed on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Here you need to look the space, how much space it's occupying. So any application which you do not use and using and occupying a large space, what you can do is you can select that, just click on the three dots and click on uninstall. So in this manner, you will be able to free up space. That's the best and the genuine way to free up the space. Now I'll go back here and we'll go to document section. Now in document section, you can see I have 14 GB of documents. So I'll just click on view documents. And here you need to select which all files are there. Now they could be a file, they could be a video file or a music file or any recordings or something which you do not need it but it's occupying large space so you need to select the folder see how much space it's taking so just do a right click and go to properties and see how much space it's taking so the motive is to look for the larger files right so let's say if i just see this iso i'll just do a right click or just Hover the cursor and you will be able to, and you will be able to find the size. Now see this folder contains 12 GB and if I delete this, there will be a lot of space in my computer. So you can check which all files you need, which all files you do not. And whatever the unnecessary files you have, you can delete it from here and then just go to download sections, music, pictures, videos from here. Whatever the unwanted applications or files you have, you can remove it. Now, once this is done, I'll, you can simply click on go back and here you can go to temporary files. Now, if I click on that, here you can see Windows Update Cleanup. There is a download section. Windows Upgrade File Logs are there. There are a lot of things which I do not need it. So, I can select all these and I can click on remove files and you will be able to also get to know how much space you are going to free up which is really a good thing so going to the storage settings and doing this is a good idea the only thing you need to keep in mind that you do not delete any fold any folder or file which you need actually so it might take some time but it's definitely worth it now once this is done you can simply close this and here you can also pre press the window and R or you can simply do a right click in the start icon and then go to run and here you can type W S R E S E T and once you click on OK all the cache from the Microsoft Store will be removed all the temporary files the cache files from the Windows Store the Microsoft Store will be cleaned or and you can free up space in this manner once this is done, you can again do a right click in the start icon and then click on run and type clean MGR and this will select the disk cleanup. Now whatever the files, whatever the unwanted files remained, which you were unable to delete from here, you can select all these files which you do not need like temporary internet files or recycle bin thumbnails, temporary files delivery optimization so you can simply check mark all these options and you can click on account okay. once this is done you can do a right click again and then go to run 
and type temp and hit ok now in my this is a very clean computer i don't have much uh, junk here however in your computer you might have uh, 10 20 or 15 gb of junk sitting there so this is a temporary location of all the applications and whatever the system whatever you perform in your computer create some temporary files so you do not need actually you can simply select that and press ctrl a and then press shift delete wipe it out now some of the files might not get deleted so that is absolutely fine you can select do this for all and skip it once this is done you can again do a right click and then go to run and this time we need to add percentage temp percentage let me just maximize it now once you have typed it hit ok now this is another location where all the junks there you can simply select any file and press ctrl a and then click on shift delete and some of the file may not get deleted that is absolutely fine check mark and skip it so in this manner you can free a lot of space and you can go to the file explorer and here go to the c drive or just click on this pc see how much space you have freed and you can let me know in the comment section how much space you have freed and guys also look for another drive there could be a possibility that you have another drive created or any unallocated space here so you can use it you can move those files to your different drive and there is one more thing which you can do guys that let's say if you if you have some files which you cannot delete but it's taking too much space then you can buy or you can get a flash drive or the external hard drive and connect to the laptop or the desktop you have and move all those files to your external hard drive or the flash drive so you will have a backup and your c drive will be also not full because if your c drive is full the performance of the computer will not be that good so you should at least have 50 gb free in your c drive to make so that your windows 10 or windows 11 performance is good and guys if you have any performance issues if your computer is running very slow and your browser is lagging there are a lot of issues with the slow pc or your computer is freezing at the end of this video you will find a video how to make the pc faster and you can perform the steps to make your computer faster that will surely help and you can let me know in the comment section how much space you have freed and how's the performance of your computer I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please hit the like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Have a wonderful day guys. Goodbye.